Well, I think this year's E3 was a pretty damn good one. There was a lot of great games revealed, including some that I never saw coming, like the new Metro, Anthem, Bioware's new IP, and most surprising of all is the Shadow of the Colossus remaster, which I never, ever, ever saw coming. But for me, there's still one game that tops them all. One game that just stands out from the crowd. One game that I am looking forward to the most out of every other game we've seen thus far. I believe this title needs no introduction. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Death Stranding is the upcoming game that I am most excited for out of everything else, including The Last of Us Part 2. Now, before all of you completely freak out, dislike the video, and unsubscribe, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I adore entertainment that messes with my mind, skews my perception of reality, and makes me think about things in different ways that I never would have thought of myself. Death Stranding is going to be the kind of game that does this. It's going to break the fourth wall, it's going to make us look at things from a different perspective. Maybe change the way we view certain social issues or things that are happening in the real world. I love the fact that everything in the game can be tied to some sort of metaphor. Don't get me wrong, The Last of Us is a fantastic game, but it's the kind of game where you follow a group of players through an emotional journey. Death Stranding is going to be the kind of game that plays with the player, and it messes with the player's head and skews perceptions and just creates a whole bunch of questions that you will continue to ask yourself even after you've put the controller down. And I love, love, love it! But this isn't all I have to say. I have something very intriguing and possibly related to Death Stranding to discuss in this video. A few days ago, my friend Trent was talking to me on my way home from work. He told me that earlier that day, he was talking to his grandmother and asked her if she'd ever heard of Norman Reedus. She said no, and he decided to look up some movies that Norman had starred in, hoping that his grandmother would recognize one of the movies. Towards the bottom of the list, he found a movie called Little Annie Rooney, which was made in 1925. If that doesn't sound a little weird to you, go ahead and take a look at Norman's birthday, January 6th, 1969. So how the hell is a 48-year-old man starring in a movie that was made in 1925? If that isn't weird enough, there are four other actors credited in Little Annie Rooney that were born after the movie was made. Billy Connolly, William Defoe, Sean Patrick Flannery, and David Delarocco. If that isn't strange enough, all of these actors also starred in The Boondock Saints. I'm not sure what the connection is here, and at first I actually thought Norman's casting in Little Annie Rooney was a mistake, just human error, someone accidentally typing his name in for the cast of that movie. But seeing all five actors star in both movies, one of which they were in and another which they were too young to actually have starred in, it just seems a little strange. But what could this possibly have to do with Death Stranding? Well, as we know, Kojima tweeted out a few days ago saying that he would not be featuring Death Stranding at E3, instead he would be having a one-hour conversation about movies with film director Jordan Vaughn Roberts. A little strange if you ask me that Kojima decides to talk about movies instead of Death Stranding, while Norman Reedus is the main character in Death Stranding and also happens to be accidentally cast for little Annie Rooney. Or is it an accident? It's very possible that I could just be jumping way too far down the rabbit hole with this, but let's say perhaps this is not an accident. Maybe Kojima had Norman put in the casting for Little Annie Rooney in order to get the hardcore followers of Death Stranding to watch the movie. Maybe there's a detail in the movie that could hint towards something Kojima is doing with Death Stranding. Maybe there's a riddle in the movie that relates to the game somehow, and only people who are dedicated enough to go through all this trouble would be able to find it. There might also be something similar in the Boondock Saints, but who knows at this point. 
Regardless, I am definitely going to keep my eyes and ears open during Kojima's E3 panel, and I advise you to do the same if you decide to watch it. DO IT! Jordan Vacht Roberts is currently working on a Metal Gear Solid movie, which is obviously a good reason for Kojima to want to talk to him. I'll have more information about the E3 panel in the description below. But if any of you have seen the Boondock Saints or Little Annie Rooney and might have something to add on to this theory, go ahead and leave it in the comments, I'd love to hear it. I hope you guys found this video interesting, or enjoyed it at the very least. If you did, please consider supporting me on Patreon so we can avoid YouTube's horrible ad policies and I can produce better content for everyone to enjoy. A like rating is always appreciated, don't forget to subscribe and stay notified for more Death Stranding content, and I will see you all next time.